choosing between Tableau and Power BI. Oh, I've wanted to make a nugget on this for so long. I actually began my technical career using nothing but Tableau, and if you had asked me about a year ago which one I preferred, hands down it would have been Tableau. But a while back I really took the time to sit down and truly learn Power BI, all of the ins and outs to it, and now I don't think there is a right or wrong choice. I think both of these tools between Tableau and Power BI, they're both equally amazing. They both have roughly the exact same feature sets, but they go about them in a different way. Here's what I mean by that. Tableau, for the most part, its entire purpose in life is to get you making visualizations like line charts or bar charts as quickly as possible. It wants you to be able to quickly connect to your data, pull it in, create a few custom calculated fields, but ultimately get to building the visualizations and dashboards as quickly as possible because that's where it really shines. It really makes beautiful dashboards and it gives you the ability to make interactivity a lot more fun for your end users. Power BI, on the other hand, it's all about building the correct data model up front. You see, they're all cool about making visualizations look good, but what good is the data if it's not correct, if it's not accurate, if it's not properly modeled? To do that, they baked in a tool called Power Query. And Power Query really is just this amazing tool that allows us to extract data out, perform a whole bunch of transformations, and then load it into the Power BI tool before you get into modeling building calculations using a language called DAX. Now, being that Tableau and Power BI are in a sort of arms race, Tableau later came back and created a tool called Tableau Prep, which is now a competitor to Power Query. And that's why I say things like, technically now, they're pretty much on level playing fields. So it really is just going to come down to personal preference of which one you would rather work with. But if you start training with Tableau, you're going to find out that Tableau training, just the way the tool is built, is going to get you to quickly visualizing data before you spend a whole lot of time modeling and building calculated fields. Whereas... Power BI, they really want you to build your data model first before you move on to visualizing. Now, some other differences between Tableau and Power BI, of course, is price. Traditionally, Power BI is cheaper. That being said, you can get to a point where you then have to upgrade your Power BI licenses to where you have to get what's called a premium license. That way you can build more capacity. But most small to medium-sized organizations, they don't have that problem, so Power BI will save you money in the long run. That's not to say that Tableau is expensive. Tableau is still pretty cheap compared to all of the other solutions that are out there on the market. Another thing is that Power BI might offer you a slight advantage if your organization uses Office 365 for its cloud, email hosting, and office licensing platform. You see, the Power BI subscription will be baked right into that, and you'll be able to use the same login that you use for Office 365 as you do for Power BI, and a lot of the applications then are synchronized with each other, meaning that you can quickly pull in data from your Office 365 apps or OneDrive. Now, that's not to say that Tableau can't pull in data from OneDrive either. It can, but the idea is that Microsoft is building a very cohesive platform cloud solution, and Power BI is just one of the parts of that. Now, another final thing that I'll leave you with is that the update schedule and feature releases for these tools. Tableau right now is basically on a twice per year schedule. And when you look at Tableau right now, the versioning reads something like this. We're in 2018. You'll have a 2018.1, which will be the first release of it, and then a .2 about six months later. Power BI, on the other hand, you're getting monthly releases, monthly updates. So take it or leave it, that could be a good or bad thing. Sometimes they release things that, you know, might actually break some functionality. But for the most part, when they do monthly releases, uh, it's usually to add functionality and also do bug fixes. So you're ready to get started and you need to know which tool you should go after. And you want my advice. Here's my advice. Don't throw all your eggs in one basket. 
learn both. At CBT Nuggets, we're only talking a few hours away from knowing both Tableau and Power BI. And once you know those tools inside and out, you can make your own judgments on which tool you like best and would prefer to work with. Both of these tools offer trials for their professional editions too, and they also offer free editions of their tools as well. So there's nothing to it to getting started. Hop into CBT Nuggets and let's get started learning Tableau and Power BI. I hope this has been informative for you and would like to thank you for viewing.